Steve Hara back for another video. Uh, today I'm going to be going through my Synapse DVDs. I've uh, got nowhere near as many as my Anchor Bay uh, DVDs. Uh, talking of which, I did actually miss out on one of those. It escaped my radar. And that is Anchor Bay UK's Razorback. Uh, not a bad film. Uh, not a great release. It's one of the, the um, Anchor Bay cheapo ranges, but still there you go right first up is the 1977's Mondo movie Brutes and Savages and this is the uncivilized version next one The Deadly Spawn love this movie it's loaded with special features. Next one, Maniac Cop. Uh, I've yet to get the uh, Blu-rays of part two and three, but I'll definitely pick those up at some point. Like the second one is definitely better than this one. Next one, Lucker the Macro Fagus. <laughs> and this is the director's cut, which has uh, added scenes compared to the uncut Dutch version. And I think this one, I can't bloody see. Uh, yeah, original VHS version. Of Lucker with English and Dutch subtitles, and and the director's cut. Next one is Street Trash, and this is the uh, special two disc meltdown edition. I think there was another version of this one. I think this one's the uh, more sought after one. Have a quick look. Yeah, there's two discs, and there's and there's that. Next one. Is effects. It's got uh, Tom Savini in this one. It's quite a few special features on that one. I uh, watched this film a couple of times, it's uh, actually pretty good. Next one is Document of the Dead, the special edition. This one, yeah, this was this came out in nineteen ninety eight. So this is like one of their first releases. Next one is Thriller, A Cruel Picture. This is the limited edition uh, Yeah, this is the uh, hardcore version one. Yeah, I think this came out in a softer version. Next one is Jim Van Babbers, all right, me Babbers, Deadbeat at Dawn. Uh, this one's a special edition. This uh, is another early release, uh, 1999. 
Uh, this one came out in a red case. Uh, unfortunately, there is a scene missing from this version. Um, and that is when Goose is getting drunk at the bar and he's chatting to some woman. Uh, he tries making advances on her and she's having none of it because he's got no money. <coughs> so she uh, goes up to the bar to uh, bother someone else. He goes after her and he picks a fight with one of the guys at the bar. He goes to uh, kick him and because he's so drunk he falls over. But in this version he goes to kick him but you don't see him fall over. Uh, I used to have another version with that in it, but I no longer have it. So if there's anyone who wants, who has another copy and wants to compare that and and see for themselves, uh, let me know. Send me a message. Next one is Flavia the Heretic, and this is the uncensored international version. Uh, this is probably one of the, the better non-sploitation non movies. Not many special features on that one. Fucking hell. There's like a tiny booklet in there. Next one is the Asian cult cinema collection of Entrails of a Virgin. Still yet to get the uh, Entrails of a Beauty. I got that on other versions and I got the the third one as well. But I'm yet to get the uh, Synapse uh, one. Next one, Asian Cult Cinema Collection again, and this is Evil Dead Trap. Uh, this one came in a blue case for some reason. And uh, if I remember rightly, I didn't really think that much of this. I'll have to give it a rewatch at some point. Next one, Asian Cult Collection again, and that's Organ. Can't remember too much about this one. Fuck all in that one. Next one is the special edition of Fatal Frames. That came in a white case. Uh, if I remember rightly, this has got one of the weirdest commentary tracks ever. So it's got like weird background music in it, um, and the sort of like the voices sound all echoey. Uh, I have to give that another listen because I remember that being really strange. open you bastard next one is the uh, special edition of brain damage this was released in 1999 a uh, great film. Uh, it's got an audio commentary of this one. I love uh, Frank Henenlotter's commentary tracks. Uh, my favourite one is the Basket Case one. I just like, I absolutely love that one.
next one is Brain Damage again. This was their re-release. Uh, supposedly 1080p, high definition. Is that pre-master? Next one, Vampyros Lesbos. Again, this is one of their early releases. This one's 1999. I don't know if that actually shows up because my uh, camera keeps on going out of uh, focus. This one came in a red cover. I don't even think I've actually seen this film all the way through. I'm not a big fan of uh, Jess Franco movies. Next one is the uh, Blu-ray DVD combo of Pranks, aka the Dorm That Drip Blood. Um, this one's got the uh, head drilling scene in it, which was missing from all other versions. So yeah, this is well worth picking up. Uh, quite a few special features on this as well. Uh, for anyone in the UK who hasn't got a multi same Blu ray player. Uh, this one is actually uh, zone free. Next one Blu ray DVD combo pack of The Exterminator. Absolutely love this film. Uh, yeah. This one, I got the uh, much earlier release from Anchor Bay of this one. But this one's got an audio commentary on it. And the last one is the Blu ray DVD combo pack of Intruder, the director's cut. Um, this one is. Uh, the standard release. Uh, I, I was made aware of a of a special release that you could only get through Synapse's website, and that came also came with the uh, with a DVD-R of the work print. Um, so yeah, I'm a bit uh, gutted that I wasn't aware of that because I'm sure I would have picked that one up. But anyway. It's still a great release, and I actually do have a work print of it somewhere, somewhere lying on a VHS tape. But anyway, that's it. I, uh, there's uh, plenty more I need to get. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many DVDs coming out of like other, you know, other labels and all that. It's, it's just near on impossible to get everything you want. Uh, I'm usually on catch up most of the time, but I will get around to uh, getting a load more earlier releases. As I've, I actually, for a few years, I didn't buy uh, any DVDs at all. Um, I was sort of like, uh, I don't know, I just didn't bother. But it's only just like within like the last year or so, I've really got start, uh, got really got back into collecting again. So, yeah, hoping hopefully I'll get a load more I never got around to getting. But anyway, uh, I'll see you all again soon for my next video. All right, cheers.